And so we started the last episode of this big family. So leave that subscription to help with our long dreamed goal of a thousand subscribers and to support the dream of this beginner. Just leave your like and comment a lot. That in this way we continue with the daily videos, but now let's go to the anime. And after all that confusion for goes back to writing in her diary, and although it is embarrassing she admits that she was relieved that Zagan had rescued her and now he and Nephi protected her, and besides them, the man who thought he had sent his father from Clavwell sacrificed his arm to protect her, and in a way the head to tail, also helped and to show her gratitude to them, she wanted to become stronger, and now they had a new resident in the castle who possessed one of the sacred swords that she thought had taken her father's life, but in fact he respected him very much and despite having saved her, she still didn't know how she felt about him, who cooked very well and even compared himself to Nephi's food. Despite the fact that he had a wide knowledge when it came to sweets and that the best part would be when he asked her to try it, but Raphael had a flaw, since he always tried to stop her from trying to observe the couple activities of Zagan and Nephi like a few days ago when Nephi was showing the macaroons that Raphael had taught her and asked Zagan to pick them up carefully, since they were very delicate, but Zagan was embarrassed to tell her to get it for him, and when Nephi went to serve in his Raphael hid her presence and tried to stop her from seeing it, but she managed to dodge it quickly, which wasn't easy, since she was trying to make sure Nephi and Zagan didn't notice and with this victory, her reward was a warm feeling in her chest, and after Zagan said that the candy was wonderful, he also served Nephi, but this time Raphael managed to catch her, since this kind of thing was very early for her who didn't agree, after all it was in her face that the two didn't even hold hands, so he must have imagined how many decades it would take for them to kiss, which Raphael agrees to and as neither of them wanted to interrupt them. It would be a defeat if they were noticed, and then Nephi calls for to go to town, since Chastile was going to spend the night with them, which made Nephi excited to prepare a feast. And in the city everyone was talking about the archdemon and his beautiful family, and after shopping Nephi wanted to visit Manuela leaving Zagan distressed, since nothing good happened when they visited her, but even so they went to the store and Manuela was very excited to make Nephi try on the new clothes despite Nephi saying that he came just to thank her for everything he taught her, but even so Manuela takes her to the fitting room and when Zagan notices the phonograph at his counter she ends up stopping and for asks what that would be and he explains that some wizards dealt with sound and music and one of them created this phonograph where people listen to music and Manuela says that unfortunately it was not working and had been brought by street children who tried to sell it, but as no store was interested they ended up leaving it there making Zagan remember that when he lived on the street, when he and the other children always took things that they thought could be sold, and for that reason he decides to buy the device, leaving Manuela surprised with the amount of money that would be enough to buy 100 clothes for those children, but Zagan says that this should be the value of the equipment and as it was a simple sorcery tool, he could fix it. And meanwhile, Chastile along with Barbatos went to the castle and the girl says that she hasn't seen him for a long time, but Barbados ignores her, and the girl starts yawning and apologizes for that, since she hasn't slept properly. And Barbados also yawns and finally the family arrives at the castle, and for greets the head to tail, and Zagan is happy that she is okay, and Chastile says that she has been very busy, since they gave all the administrative work to her, after announcing the loss of Cravel, which they considered an accident, which Zagan already expected. But when he notices Barbados he says that he had not invited him making him indignant since at least. She should let him eat and for asks if they had enough food for. The do it all making him even more indignant since he had told the tomboy dragon to stop calling him a handyman and Zagan punches Barbados because he couldn't call his daughter a tomboy dragon making him forget all silly. But Nephi asks Chastile and Barbados to feel at home while she would prepare the food and Chastile decides to help her. And in the kitchen for is curious about if she knew how to cook and Chastile answers yes and ends up knocking over the basket of vegetables. But for uses his magic and manages to stop them from falling to the floor leaving Chastile disappointed. But in the meantime Barbados went to Zagan who was repairing the device and Barbados admits that he had peculiar tastes. But anyway he tells him to do something about that useless woman who would lose her life if she continued in that way arousing Zagan's curiosity about if anyone else was trying to eliminate her, but Barbados replies that it was much worse. After all every night she messed up and a few nights ago, she knocked over a pile of documents and he was so outraged that this happened. Often that he even helped this mess who then bumped into a bookshelf that almost fell on top of her, but he held it with his sorcery, and so he was not able to sleep, and if it continues like this he or she would go from Cravel, and Zagan replies that he didn't care if he was from Cravel leaving Barbados disappointed, but Zagan says that as a reward he would let him drink all the drinks he wanted. 
And meanwhile, Nephi tasted the soup of Chastile which she says was delicious, but Nephi even hides from its horrifying taste, and when for asks if it was so bad she replies that it was worse than the muddy water they made her drink when she was young, and she could not let this threat be served on the table, and says that it was better to leave the soup aside since she should find a way to serve her for breakfast, then it would be better for Chastile to rest in the guest room, making her curious. About this matter of finding a way to serve the soup. And that night Zagan put the phonograph to work leaving everyone impressed with lovely music, and Zagan says that it was so elegant that it didn't even go with an archdemon dinner, and Raphael remembers, when he visited a dance hall that had one of these and the ladies and gentlemen danced hand in hand to the music. But he was eventually banished when some sorcerers attacked him leaving everyone in shock. But now he serves the food and chastile compliments Nephi's food making Barbados laugh when he asks about what she understood about complex flavors and the girl says that he had no right to criticize her and Barbados replies that if she didn't like it then she should grow up to be able to sleep without a stuffed animal leaving everyone surprised and chastile indignant when questioning how he knew about his poco making Barbados give it. Even more laughter and Zagan notices that he got drunk. After drinking a bottle alone and Chastile is embarrassed to question if he was spying on her in the shadows and Barbados asks why someone wanted to spy on her, and besides that it wasn't her nanny and questions why he was stuck taking care of her then Zagan interrupts him and throws a fork at the wizard, and Chastile says she didn't remember wanting to be taken care of and Zagan asks that she doesn't worry about it after all he was drunk and thinks it wasn't the time to say that he was doing. His guard and Nephi says that he was the one who saved her when she fainted because of the poisoning and brought her to the castle leaving Chastile embarrassed for not remembering what happened that day, and thanks Barbados for what he had done, and he tells her to save the thanks for when she becomes a better woman, making her indignant, as he said that his ideal woman was someone older, open-minded who would spoil him and indignant. She says that he realized that she did not deny having spied on. Her and even told her about her well. But the phonograph interrupts them with a the distorted music, and Zagan says that he must have broken again, and Raphael gives it away in a delicate way that reminded me when my video game it freezes, but anyway. Zagan tells Barbados to apologize, and he ignores him, and is impressed with the wild and bitter taste of this soup that was addictive making Nephi curious, since he hadn't served the soup, and for replies that she ended up serving it only for the handyman who ends up fainting leaving Chastile desperate for what her soup had made. And later when everyone went to sleep Nephi met with Zagan who was repairing the device and said that she must be tired, but Nephi admits that it had been a lot of fun and in fact he had never had a meal with so many people, and asks why he bought this device and Zagan replies that it was just a whim, but he also wanted her to listen to music, and Nephi says that he noticed that he usually stayed a little sad to remember the past. But this time it was different, and Zagan admits that he wasn't sure. But when he lived on the street without a house or food he had friends with whom he shared bread and at that time maybe he was not as lonely as he thought, but now he could think about it, and since he locked himself in the castle he never returned to that place and wonders if someone who met was still there and hoped that everyone would have survived and asks if Nephi would mind if he returned it to the streets which the girl denies with a smile and when the phonograph returns to play music. Nephi starts singing and Zagan admits that he had no idea that the song could be so beautiful, and this feeling was the same he felt the first time he heard Nephi's voice, and is embarrassed to ask if she wanted to dance since he actually wanted to compliment her singing. But Nephi replies that he would like to, leaving Zagan surprised. While for watched everything with Raphael sneaking up, but he notices that Zagan needed help, after all he didn't know how to dance. So he went to the couple and offered to teach them how to dance, while for thought they gave her a lot of trouble. But it was in that deep forest, known as the Lost Forest, that a man who was once alone stopped being lonely and the next day, the citizens of Kianoides were surprised with a music resounding through the alleys, where children danced happily as in a spontaneous festival that lasted all day. But the night before was when Zagan and Nephi danced together for the first time, and where their long love story began. And in this way we end our first season. Thank you very much to everyone who followed the history of this complicated family, and don't forget to leave that little help with your like, subscription and sharing. Thank you and see you next time.